Hi, I'm Crypto Lou, and today I'm going to take you through how to store your coins using paper wallets. I'm going to take you through what is a paper wallet, how to create a Bitcoin paper wallet. I'm going to explain to you the differences between a Bitcoin address and your private key. And then I'm going to show you how to add and send money from your paper wallet. So a paper wallet is a type of cold storage, which essentially means that they're taken offline and there's no way that hackers can get hold of your assets. Now, paper wallets are really good for when you're holding your assets long term and you're not really interested in trading and exchanging or sending on a regular basis. So paper wallets are one of the most popular, cheapest and secure ways of keeping your Bitcoin safe. Once you've created your paper wallet, it will come in the form of something like this. So the section on the left hand side that you can see here, which says load and verify, that is the section that allows you to receive Bitcoin to this paper wallet. It provides you with a Bitcoin address that you can then use to share to others to receive that Bitcoin. If you think of this left hand section as your like your bank account details in terms of your sort code and your account number. On the right hand side here, you then have your private key. Now your private key, it's really important that you keep that to yourself. What you wanna see this as is in terms of when you want to spend or when you want to send funds from this wallet, if you see this as being more like your PIN number to your credit card or your debit card, so it's something you really wanna keep personal to yourself as it will unlock your account. Users can then print this off and keep it somewhere safe so that it can't be easily destroyed or stolen. So one of the Bitcoin wallet generators that you can use is www.bitaddress.org. One of the recommendations that I would um, state is the fact that when you go onto this site, I would disable your Wi-Fi and your internet connection. Now, bitaddress.org is completely free to use, so you can create a paper wallet absolutely free. All you need to do is start moving your cursor around or your mouse around until you get to 100%. As you can see here, the numbers are going up, the numbers are constantly changing. If I keep going and take that up to 100% now, and once that takes us to 100%, it then provides us with our Bitcoin address and our private key. Now, the main difference between a Bitcoin address and a private key is that the, with the Bitcoin address, it's the address that you can share to receive Bitcoin. However, with that private key, it's something you want to keep to yourself, keep it locked away, don't give it out to anyone, because essentially it would be like giving the keys to your safe, or it would be like giving out your PIN number and all your card details. So just ensure that you really keep that private key private. Private. You can then print from the screen by simply clicking, clicking on to print or you can go to paper wallet up the top here. In the paper wallet it provides you with a wallet that has a nicer design on it so it's just a little bit more presentable really. You can say how many addresses you want to generate, you can generate more than one in here and you would simply just type the difference numbers into here. Just be aware that when you're in this paper wallet, when you switch from single wallet to paper wallet, the address does actually change. So just make sure that you're printing off the correct one and you're making a note of the correct one. If you then click on to print, you can simply print out this uh, paper wallet. Now, another thing with regards to printing out your paper wallets is that you should really ensure that you have a secure printer and that it's actually offline. So now that you have your Bitcoin paper wallet, what you now need to do is load funds onto that or load Bitcoin. So what you need to do is you need to send funds from your designated wallet. Now that can come in the form of any kind of wallet in terms of Coinbase or Exodus or blockchain. However, Coinbase is a exchange as opposed to a wallet. So you may want to keep this offline. Now I've done a full tutorial and review of Coinbase. And if you'd like to take a look, then I'll put a link to it in the below. If you then want to send your Bitcoin from your Coinbase into your paper wallet, you simply click on to send and then you would take your Bitcoin address from your paper wallet, pop that into the recipient, put in the amount that you wish to send and click on to continue. What I'll now do is show you how to add and send money from your paper wallet with the use of blockchain. Now I've already done a review and tutorial in depth of blockchain. What I'll do is I'll put it in the summary below and I'll also show a link to it up the top now. So if you want to take a look at that, then please do so. The blockchain account that I've created today is just a test one. So I'm okay to kind of share things and private keys on here. So uh, don't worry, you won't be able to hack my account for all my zero Bitcoin that I have here. So now that you have your paper wallet, what you may now want to do is send your Bitcoin from your paper wallet across to a designated address. Now, the way that you do that is within blockchain, if you click on to settings and if you go to addresses, and then what you want to do is you want to import a Bitcoin address. 
So one of the pains about importing a paper Bitcoin address is the fact that you have to manually type this in. So I'm just gonna put that in now. And then if you click into import here, make sure that you've put in your Bitcoin address in this section. And then you'll get a message up saying, uh, you can only access these funds if you have the private keys stored elsewhere. If you do not have a paper wallet or other backup, you should not instruct anyone to send you coins to this address. So we're gonna click on okay here. And then you have a confirmation. So it tells me the Bitcoin address is valid and it tells me the balance of this address. Now, obviously I've just generated this. I haven't sent funds to this actual address. So it's showing up as zero BTC. So if I click on to close, so now that you have your imported address, what you can also do is you can categorize these. So as you can see, I've got two imported Bitcoin addresses here. And what I can do is I can edit the names of them just to make it a little bit more clearer as to what that imported address relates to. And then you can click on to save. If you then want to send funds from your paper wallet across to a certain individual or an exchange or another wallet, what you then need to do is if you click on to send, you can then send your Bitcoin from your uh, paper wallet. Now at the moment, I don't have any funds in here, so I'm unable to send at present. However, what you would do is you would select your paper wallet. It would then ask you to enter in your private key. So that is the section on the right-hand side on your paper wallet that we I went through earlier. So in there, you would then put in your private key. You would then put in the address of who you're sending it to and the address that you're sending it to. You would then click in the amount of Bitcoin into this section, which will then automatically convert to your chosen um, currency here. You can put a description in here as well. So you could put it in here, um, anything that's kind of relevant with regards to that transaction. And then you can select your transaction fee and then you can click on to continue. So I hope that you found this paper wallet tutorial helpful today. And if you did, then please give me a like. If you'd like to see more reviews, tips and tutorials, then please hit subscribe. If you've got any questions at all, then please feel free to put them in the below. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.